finally I'm here with a long awaited video of how I got the green out of my hair. Upload! Yay! <laughs> so, first things first, I wanted to tell you guys I already do have a fair few videos that I will be referring to in this video. I'll link them in the description box below if you guys wanted to know a little bit more about them. So, I have done a how to remove fashion color from your hair video in the past, which is when I had pink hair and I did my normal kind of bleach bath method to get that color out of my hair and it worked beautifully. But when you're dealing with green and pretty much blue turquoise kind of shades, it can be a lot harder to get that color out of your hair. I'm not sure why it just sticks to your hair that much harder. It can make it so much harder to get out of your hair. So today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how I got the green pretty much out of my hair. If you look at the ends of my hair, they are still a little bit minty, but I am happy with the lightness that I have at the moment because I'm planning on doing another color soon. Woohoo, it's a surprise. <laughs> so I am happy happy with that I don't want to continue getting the going lighter because this is as light as what I need it but obviously if you keep following these steps you will definitely get the green out of your hair so the first thing I wanted to stress is it's going to take time unfortunately unlike other colors it's probably not going to be done in a day it does depend on the green that you've used or blue how long you've been that color for what color you were prior to doing that color and the health of your hair so there's a lot of kind of factors that come into play with that so I just want to stress to you guys this may take a few months it may take a little bit longer so don't think it's going to be done within a day because chances are it may not be before we get into removing the green and going to blonde I just wanted to share with you guys if you are removing the green and you want to go dark what you'll need to do is either counteract the green first and then apply the color of choice or do the both in one step so by counteracting the green what I mean is get a color like fudge or manic panic or any kind of color like that in the opposite of green so the opposite of green is red if you're getting rid of blue the opposite you'll need to do is orange so basically get that color you can water it down a little bit apply it all over those areas to dry hair apply it all over the green areas that you want to get rid of then what you'll need to do is towel dry that in really really well and then go in with a kind of neutral brown shade make sure that it is the same level that you currently are or darker if you try to do a lighter shade than what you've got it's not going to work you're going to have to bleach it lighter and then counteract from there so just make sure that it is the same shade or darker if you guys are a little bit confused by what I mean definitely check out my fake regrowth tutorial when I add the brown over the green hair for the fake regrowth I go through that those exact steps using like a filler first to counteract and then the brown over the top so that will show you guys what you need to do if you can't be bothered doing that then what you should do is get a color that's the same or darker as I said but a very strong red color so <laughs> yes you may think I don't want my hair to go red but the red over the top of the green is going to neutralize it and it's going to hopefully end up like a nice chocolatey brown color just be mindful if you have regrowth that you're dealing with don't obviously put the red color over your natural regrowth because then it will be red on your regrowth and chocolate brown over where the green was you will need to apply the red only on the green areas and then just a chocolatey brown color on your regrowth so just bear that in mind because <laughs> you might end up with a reverse kind of ombre going on there so bear that in mind so now that that kind of part is out of the way I want to share with you guys how I got rid of the green and went blonde oh so obviously as I said I had quite a few things that I was dealing with obviously in this area here where the brown was it is still quite yellow but I'm happy with this level of lightness I'm doing another color shortly so I don't need that to be any lighter if you guys want to know I filmed every single step of it just for you guys I know that quite a few of you are very visual so hopefully this will help you out so first things first what I did was use a color remover I have done a review of this color remover my thoughts on it if it worked if it didn't work this was pretty much my first step a hair color remover so you guys can watch the video 
if you want. <laughs> my hair was a little bit harder because I had my natural regrowth, a fair bit of my natural roots. Then I had a big band of dark hair that I colored myself dark on purpose for the false regrowth look, which I did do a tutorial on. And then I had the green in the ends of my hair. So there was a fair bit to work with and it, it was a little bit more complicated than just focusing on the green. So bear that in mind if you're planning on doing this yourself, that with me, there was quite a few different steps that you needed to take. This is what I'm currently working with. I have already done one hair color remover. What I'm gonna do is my normal routine for removing color. So if you guys have watched my how to remove fat and color from your hair video, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now this green has held a lot more than any other color I've ever used before. So I'm not sure how it's gonna react and I'll just kind of go with the flow and see how it goes. So I have a fair bit of regrowth. So about this much is my natural regrowth. And then from here down is a color that I did, like a dark color for a fake regrowth look. And then I've got this green all in here. So I'm going to apply my mixation. I'll list this in the description box below. So I'm going to apply that on the dark parts of my roots and all throughout the ends. Before I do that, I'm going to slather my hair in some coconut oil. Coconut oil is the bomb. It's the bomb. It's definitely what you need so basically what this does is it's going to help protect your hair while the bleaching is taking place it's not going to affect the bleach it's just going to help keep the nourishment in your hair and hopefully try and prevent any breakage old shirt on towel laid down and listen to an audiobook while I do this it might take a while <laughs> Okay, so I have applied that all throughout my ends. I'm going to leave it to process. Yeah, I'm going to put some cling wrap on it and leave it for about half an hour to start off with. Whew, okay. Alright, so I'm going to rinse this off now. It's kind of like a pale blue colour. So yeah, I'll see how it goes once it's rinsed off. Hey, I have washed off that bleach, dried it. It is now the next day. I just left it for the rest of the day to kind of settle. I just slathered a lot more coconut oil into it and that's all kind of absorbed. So because I did a bleach bath, it was very gentle. I only left it on for half an hour, which is not normally the usual kind of bleach processing time. So it wasn't left on for that long. That is why it's looking how it is. So the roots here are very orange. Like obviously I still have my natural regrowth. It did kind of sink up a little bit, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, natural, natural regrowth. The roots are quite orange. There's a few kind of darker splotches in there. And then the ends are like a minty kind of green color. I want to do my roots today, mainly just the orange, my actual regrowth. And then on the last few minutes, I might just wash another gentle bleach bath through the ends. So before I start again, I'm going to go in with the trusty coconut oil, slather that all up in there, especially just around like this line. So if there is any overlapping, it's not going to damage my hair too much. So now comes the tricky part. Because there are so many different kind of colors in here, like there's a little bit of a lighter blonde, there's that orange, and then it fades in that kind of transition area there and then I've got my natural root color as well normally what you would do with you know this amount of regrowth if it was all natural regrowth would be a virgin application and that would stop any kind of yellow heat band I do go through that application technique in my um, blonde hair tutorial where I like full scalp bleach um, I'll list that in the description box below if you guys were wondering but it's basically a technique that you use you apply it on the outer portions of your regrowth and then your regrowth and it stops any banding because I've already applied it on this area and as you see it's already processed it's already at that kind of orangey stage this is going to process now similar time to what my regrowth is so I'm just going to apply it directly on all of those areas 
without doing a virgin application only because it's already been pre-processed and if there is any yellow banding or any areas after that I need to fix up it's going to be easier just to go through and spot treat those areas than to try and do it now so <laughs> that is what I'm going to do. Bleach already mixed up I am using 20 vol developer I wouldn't recommend using anything higher uh, but it, it does depend on your house so that is just my recommendation. Okay, so I have applied that colour. Um, as you guys can see, like I've left, you know, that little bit of banding there because I'm going to mix just a gentle uh, bleach bath for the ends of my hair and just kind of drag it through and that will all kind of meld together hopefully <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it on for 15 minutes first and then I'll put the other color on and we'll go from there okay so it's been roughly 20 minutes um, I'm gonna go and apply the bleach bath on the ends So I can already tell that some of that dark colour, the orange, is still going to be there. It's still going to take a little bit to get out. If you have watched any of my From Black to Blonde videos, you will know how hard it can be to get colour out of your hair. And that dark colour was only ever applied once into my hair. And already this is the third colour application I've done to try and get it out. And I can tell it's still going to be there. So, oh well. <laughs> let that process on the ends for 15 minutes still it's going to be pretty green um my roots are not too bad so i'm just going to rinse that off it's still going to need a lot more work but at least we're starting to get somewhere so i have rinsed that color off it's now three days later so i rinsed it off three days ago <laughs> And I've just left my hair kind of breathe for a few days. So this is how it turned out. The roots were nice and nice and white. Um, I didn't use a toner or anything. I just was like, eh. Um, so where the brown was, obviously it is still quite orangey yellow. And then we still have like a pale green on the ends. So what I'm going to do today is redo this orange part. And then I'll see how I go. I might just run it through the ends again. I'll, I'll see how it goes. But I'm not going to do the roots. The roots are fine. So just going to focus on these orange bits. <laughs> so again, I'm going to use some coconut oil in my hair prior to bleaching. So I have my bleach again. This is just a 20 volt. I wouldn't go any higher. it has now been a week I left it one whole week without touching it every single day I would lather in treatments conditioning treatments not wash it out just leave it in my hair and add additional coconut oil to my hair as well and basically I just left it in let it absorb sucked it up I did not wash my hair for a whole week and just let the kind of natural oils get back into my hair so it has been a little while today as well I went to my mum's place and she helped me just re-bleach that kind of gold band that was in my hair because it was still quite gold and I was really struggling to see exactly where it was at the back of my hair so again we just used bleach and 20 vol and some conditioner into the mixture and also I slathered coconut oil on my hair prior and this is how it is so now I want to work on these ends just a little bit more so I have this frothing foaming concoction here Woo! so I made this myself this is the first time I'm ever using it and I'm not sure how it's going to turn out so it's a bit of a gamble but in here I have equal portions crushed up aspirin crushed up vitamin c 
citric acid, hence all the foaming, and um, bicarb soda. And I just mixed it in with a little bit of shampoo. And yeah, this is what it, I got. It's all foamy. So I'm going to start applying this literally just to the ends, the green areas of my hair. I wanted to add the vitamin C because it is orange and hopefully it will help to counteract the green hues in my hair. So only time will tell. <laughs> lightened that mint green that was in there so much it's really helped to get that out so yeah I, I feel that if you want to go the most less damaging way you know that is definitely the way when you get to the mint green stage I'm not sure if that will be strong enough to work if it is a dark green trying to get that out so just bear that in mind or even do a strand test just cut a small piece of your hair out put some sticky tape around the end so it doesn't get all lost and just try it on that and see how that works but yes it does definitely work it just takes time so don't get disheartened if you're planning on going back blonde make sure you allow yourself enough time I'm not going to give you guys an exact time limit because everyone's hair is different and the colors you've used is different the lot the time that you've been that color is different so I can't I can't give you guys a time frame on how long it's gonna take just bear in mind that you will need to allow enough time to get back blonde <laughs> Alright guys, I love you all and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!